I'm just calling to tell you that I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So today I'm going to call five random people that I love just to tell them that I love them. Honestly, before starting, I was thinking, man, this is going to be simple and easy, no sweat. But now that it's getting closer to the time, I have to admit, I'm pretty nervous. And realizing that being vulnerable isn't that easy. So the first person that I'm going to call is actually my wife, Alpha. She knows that I'm up here recording this, but she has no idea that I'm going to call her. I'm just calling to tell you that I love you. I know you guys are calling me, this can be the video, okay? Baby, you're my, you're, <laughs> you're my warm-up, okay? <laughs> okay, so then put up your warm-up down there and kiss me and cry me. I love you, baby. Mm. You just do it for the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you. I'm legit nervous, like... I think it's just because I know what's coming. And some of these people I haven't actually spoken to in, in many, many years. And actually some people are probably upset with me, like I'm not even sure. So the next person that I'm gonna call is actually somebody that I haven't spoken to in years. My nanny from when I was a little girl. She's actually from Jamaica and she lives in New York right now. And I love her dearly but I definitely don't tell her enough. So I'm a little bit nervous. I hope that she answers. Her name is Claudia. I call her Claudi. And she's actually saved in my phone as Claudia's second mom. <laughs> I'm gonna call her now. Hello? Hi, Claudia. Hi, Nini. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I was just... Calling to tell you that I love you because I miss you and oh, I. Oh, thank you. I haven't. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I was just thinking on you and I was like, you know, I have to call you and just tell you how much I love you and miss you. Thank you, Nicole. I love you to always remember you. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what? Thank you to everybody for me and thank you so much for the call. Thank you, God. Please give my regards to every single one. Okay. I will. I'm gonna tell him I spoke with you. Yeah, give JP a hug and Ryan all of them. Okay, I will definitely. Alright, thank you so much. Bye, Claudie. Bye, my love. Bye. That was so sweet. Uh oh. I don't even remember the last time I spoke with her. I'm so happy I did that. Okay, next. <laughs> So next, I'm going to call my sister, who is living in Florida. She's studying to be a psychologist. We hardly talk these days, and honestly, I wish I can change that. But regardless, our love for each other is unconditional, and I definitely don't tell her how much I love her enough. So I'm going to call her next and let her know. I have to normalize this in my life. Saying I love you shouldn't be so stressful. Hello? Hey, babes. Hey. I was just calling to tell you that I love you. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Yeah. I love you too. Well, what are you up to? Are you busy? No, I'm full. I'm making some lunch now. Yeah, I'm making some lunch. I'm almost busy. Listen, I know you're far away, but we should at least call each other weekly. Yeah, all right. Just to like check up on each other. Yeah, man, because I miss you. I miss you more, trust me. No. Let's catch up, and then how about we make it our New Year's resolution? to okay. call That's each okay. other at least once a week. Okay, I'm down. Okay, perfect. I love, that. I love you, Amy. I love you, babes. Bye. Bye. So sweet. I love her so much. My baby. We're eight years, eight years different, so I, I, she was, I used to carry her around like this, and I still see her as my baby. Next up. Who am I gonna call? Next, I'm gonna call my friend Gigi, who I actually consider and call my sister. 
in my phone. Her name is programmed as Sissy. And she's somebody that, you know, I haven't reached out to in a really long time. We used to talk on a regular daily basis. And that has kind of changed over the last year or two. But I do love her and I miss having her in my life. I saw her today when I was out riding my bicycle and I waved and she didn't wave. And like, there's a part of me that feels guilty that we don't talk. And another part of me that thinks that she could be upset at me because of that as well. This one I'm actually the most nervous for. <laughs> Hello. Hey sis. Hey, what's up? Um, I was just, I was honestly just going to tell you that I love you. Oh, love you too sis. You okay? Yeah, let me call you right back. I'm in the middle of something. Okay. And I'll call you right back. Oh, okay. Okay. no problem. Bye. Bye. Hopefully she calls back while I call some other people. Next, I'm gonna call my opa. Um, sorry, my grandpa. Um, I actually call him opa. Not too long ago, he had a stroke. And ever since then, he's kind of been down and I definitely don't reach out to him enough. So I will call him next and see how he's doing. Hopefully he answers. Opa, do I not have him? That's bad. I don't even have him. How can I not have him? That's crazy. I don't even have his number. Um. Oh, Gigi's calling back. Hey. Downstairs with no signal. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I just I saw you on the road today, and I've actually been meaning to call you. You didn't see me, and I was like, I waved, but I figured you didn't see me. Well, let's go talk with you, sis. Yes, sis. Love you, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Give me Mia hugging kiss. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we ended up talking for almost one hour and I gotta pee before we call the next people. <laughs> Good thing she's not mad at me. I thought she might have been mad at me for not reaching out. Maybe she was. Another successful call. Okay, so next I'm gonna call my Opa. At last I was checking, I couldn't find his number, which is so bad of me how can i not have my opa's number that means i don't call him enough definitely usually i call my oma and then like he she passes me the phone to him just so it doesn't sound that bad. it's still it's still bad it's still bad so i don't actually have my opa's number yet i asked three different people so hopefully i will get it soon in the meantime i'm gonna call my grandma she used to live here and i used to see her a lot more often and talk with her a lot more often but um lately i haven't been so i think it's important that i call her and let her know that i love her so i don't know if it's getting easier but i'm less nervous now about making these calls we just have to do this more it's definitely getting easier we should all do this more often right okay let's see okay she's calling back hey grams I'm good. Are you busy? Sorry. Uh, no, I'm just sitting here watching TV. I'm not doing anything. I was just calling to yeah. tell you that I love you because I miss you and oh. I haven't heard from you in a long time. Or I haven't reached out. I know. It's so, so nice to hear your voice. I'm thinking just when you just said hello, I'm thinking, oh, it's so <laughs> nice to hear her voice. Send my love as well to everyone there Ella, Uncle Marty, do and my cousins. Okay, mm -hmm. I will do that. I will do that. Love you and I can't wait to see you. I love you too, Grandma. See you soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Another successful call. I don't. I still don't have my opa, my grandpa's number. I may not be able to record it, but as soon as I get the number, I will call him. Well, that was a really nice experience for me. I don't know if it was as nice for you to watch as it was for me, but that was really such a wonderful experience. As I said, as I started calling people, it got easier and easier. I don't know why I was getting a little bit nervous in the beginning. The nerves completely went away. So if anything, this has encouraged me to do this more often because I really don't think it should be that stressful to say I love you to the people that I love. And I hope this inspires you to do the same. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.